Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to take a given IP address in mask, in this case the mask is in bit notation, and determine what the network address is, what the first host address is, what the last host address is, and what the broadcast address is. So first of all, uh, before we start, what we're going to do is we are going to um, look at that slash 27 and we are going to determine what the traditional dotted decimal net mask is. So if we have 27, that means we have 27 bits of network, which means that we our traditional dotted decimal mask would be, whoops, I'm sorry here, 255.255.255, and that would be 8 plus 8 plus 8, which is 24, and we still have three more bits. So in this last octet here, we're going to have three bits of network, and that would leave us five bits of host, because we have a full eight bits in this octet. We've counted out 24 bits of network, meaning that we have three bits left. So that tells us that uh, three bits are network, and five bits are host equaling 8 bits. So let's go down here and let's actually draw out what that would look like in binary. So we would have a 1, 1, 1, meaning um, 3 bits of network in that last octet, and then the remaining bits would all be zeros. And 5 bits of host. Um, I have here the bit notate, or the, uh, the bit weightings for each of the eight bits. So if we were to look at this number here um, and convert it into our dotted decimal mask, this would be 128 plus 64 plus 32. That's because we have the 128 turned on, the 64 turned on, and the 32 turned on. We have no other bits turned on. So if we add these three up, we are going to get the number 224. So then up here in our mask, the last octet is 224. So what we did there is we converted that slash 27 into dotted decimal. And the reason it helped us a little bit um, was it helped us understand what the relationship between the number 224 down here and these three ones. We also knew that we had 8 plus 8 plus 8, which is 24, leaving three bits left to get to 27. And that is those three ones there. Um, indicating the three network bits, which are borrowed from what originally would have been a subnet, I'm sorry, host bits, if this was a class C address. We've made these now network bits. So that's where the 224 is, that is our mask. What we're doing down here is we are going to focus just on this last octet here. These three numbers, because we have network bit, network, network, they are all network bits up here. Nothing is going to change with those. So in fact, we can even kind of come down here and we could even just write in 192, 168.100 because we know that those bits can't change. In fact, even for our first address, it's the same. 192, 168.100, something. We haven't figured out the somethings down here yet, but we know because those are uh, 255s up on top, and because we've locked in those network bits, we know that uh, what's going on down here um, has to start with 192, 168, 100. Okay, so again, what we're doing up here is we're going to take this 224 and this 154, and we're going to kind of explode this out and work with this to figure out that last byte. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write in the number 154, and we're going to write it on top of our mask um, down below here. So we're going to take that number 154, and what we're going to do is we're going to we want to convert it into ones and zeros into our bit pattern. So I'm going to come over here off to the side, and we're going to start with the number 154. And to convert that into binary, what we're going to do is we're going to try to subtract out each of these positions to find out if they're turned on or not. So can we get 128 out of 154? Yes, we can. So if we draw a uh, little equation here, we take out uh, 128, we are going to end up with 26. 
and that means that we would turn on the 128 position. Can we get 64 out of 26? Nope, we can't, so we're going to put a zero there. Can we get 32 out of 26? Nope, so we're going to put a zero there. We can get a 16 out of there, so we are going to put a 1 in the 16, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to subtract 16 out, which gives us 10 left. We can get an 8 out of that, so we're going to run over here and put a 1 in the, uh, in the 8 position, which is going to give us a remainder of 2. And we can't get a 4, we can get a 2, and if we subtract 2 out, that's going to give us nothing left, so there is no one left over. So that is, we just converted 154 to binary. Now that we've converted 154 to binary, we know which bits are network and which bits are host. So I'm going to draw kind of this imaginary line right down the middle, and we're going to do some work down here to figure out what our network and um, broadcast address are. We're going to do those two first. So the first step to, to doing this is we know that if we're talking about a network address and a broadcast address, it has to be in the same network as this 154. So that means the network bits must match. So we're going to bring the network bits down where we have network uh, identified by the mask. The other way to do this is through the anding, the binary anding process. So 1 and 1 is 1, 0 and 1 is 0, 0 and 1 is 0. And we're going we're gonna to write that down twice because we're going to figure out what our network address is and then we're going to figure out what our broadcast address is. Now by definition, our broadcast or our network address is going to be host bits are all zeros. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in all zeros there. And once we have that done, we're going to take the line back and remove it. We're going to look at it as 8 bits again. And we're going to add up which bits are turned on. In this case, we have the 1 turned on. And that's the only one, so this is 128. So down here, I can come fill in what the network address is, one dot, or dot 128 in that last octet. Now let's go figure out the broadcast. The definition of broadcast is your host bits are all 1s. So if I fill in all 1s there and put it back together as a full 8 bits, I can figure out what this is in decimal. I'm going to use a little shortcut. Instead of doing 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16, when we have consecutive 1s on the right-hand side, we know that the sum of these will always be 1 less than this position right here, which 1 less than 32 would be 31. We know that because the next time we count, the 1 would go to a 0, carry, 0, carry, and the next number in line would be 32. Um, so when we see a bunch of ones in a line, it only works when they're on the right-hand side, but we'll do that little shortcut so we don't have to add it up. If you're not familiar with that shortcut, just add 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So we've got 31 in all of those, plus we have a 128 in this far bit position here. So if we add those two together, we end up with 159. So come over here, draw in 159, and that is going to be our broadcast address down here, 159. Now we need to figure out what our first address and our last address is. Now we could do some binary work to figure that out, but the easiest way to, to calculate that is the first address is always right after your subnet address. So that would be 129, it's the first address after the subnet address. And the last address is always going to be the address right before the broadcast address, or 158. So I'm going to come down here, I'm going to put in 158 as my last address. I'm going to put in the number 129 as my first address. And of course, the number we started with, which was host address 154, does fall in that range. So this is the network address for that address, the broadcast address for that address, and the, uh, the first and last host is everything that is in between. Another thing we can do here really quick, how many bits did I have for network? One, two, three. So I can do two to the number of bits in, net, in the network portion, or in the subnet portion. So two to the third. The third is coming from three bits of subnet. 
And 2 to the 3rd is going to be 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So I will have 8 subnets with this mask. And then I can also figure out how many hosts I'm going to have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to have 2 to the 5th number of subnets. And, or I'm sorry, number of hosts. And if I do 2 to the 5th, that is going to give me 32. Now when we do hosts, generally what we're going to do is we're going to do 2 to the 5th minus 2 to figure out how many usable addresses, host addresses we have, which is going to be 30. Because even though we have 32, we burn one for our subnet address and we burn one for our broadcast address. So that's why we have to subtract 2. So 2 to the 5th is 32, minus 2 is 30. We have 30 hosts that are what we usually call usable hosts in that network. Uh, I guess not usable, it's usable. So um, 30 usable hosts and we have 8 subnets. So that's how to take a address and a mask and figure out what the first address is, the last address, and the subnet address and the broadcast address for that. If you can, if you know how to do this, um, there is not an IP addressing problem that you will not be able to figure out how to do.